Hello brothers and sisters, please do not skip this appeal. I am so sorry I have to do this again. This girl you see on the screen is from India and she is a part of our community on WhatsApp. She lost her dad and she has been taking care of her sick mom. I was touched when I heard presently she is very sick and needs to do a surgery to remove pal. It's a very inconvenient moment for her and her mother. And so I told her I was going to help her in my own little way. This appeal is not for everyone, but this appeal is for the good hearted among you all. Please and please support her on this journey. Let us show love to this suffering girl. A mother's survival depends on her own well being. Our catechism teacher is currently helping her to host the campaign on PayPal. If you want to donate to her via PayPal, you can check the first pinned comment for a link. Or you can type on the comment, I want to donate, and I will respond to you with a link. Or you can check this video description for the link to donate to her. We wish her good health and hope that she recovers smoothly. She also is aspiring to study law in school and needs finance for that. If you care for her and would like to support her in any way, please show her your love and show her your support. And the Lord, the good Lord, will remember your donation for all eternity. God bless you all. Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to the Sons of God YouTube channel. This video are messages from Our Lady, which was given to Pedro Regis. And the recent message from Saint Michael the Archangel, as given to Luz de Maria. We combined both messages, and we encourage everyone to see them to the end. The second message is very informative, and we encourage you to listen attentively so you don't miss the important details of what St. Michael has spoken to us about, in the message. Let us ensure to share this message to others, especially those who still walks in blindness. God bless you all. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Message from Our Lady Queen of Peace to the whole world. On March 4th, 2023. Dear children, I know each of you by name, and I have come from heaven to help you. Do not be afraid. Trust fully in the power of my Son, Jesus. And all will turn out well for you. Do not turn away from the light of the Lord. Always seek him in the Eucharist, and you will be great in faith. 
Days will come when the precious food, the Eucharist, will be present in few places. I suffer because of what is coming for you. Give me your hands, and I will lead you along the path of goodness and holiness. Onward without fear. After all the pains, God's victory will come, and you will see the wonders of the Lord. Everywhere. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. On March 4, 2023. Dear children, turn away from sin and live facing the Lord. Repent and serve the Lord with joy. You are heading into a painful future, and many will embrace false teachings. In many places, there will be great contempt for the Church of my Jesus. I suffer because of what is coming to you. Bend your knees in prayer, for only then, can you bear the weight of the cross to come. Onward in defense of the truth. When all seems lost, God's victory will come for the righteous. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. On March 7, 2023. Dear children, seek the Lord. He loves you and awaits you with open arms. Do not reject his light. I have come from heaven to call you to sincere conversion. Open your hearts and accept my appeals. Everything in this life will pass away, but God's grace within you will be eternal. Do not let the things of the world take you away from the Lord. Remember, in everything, God comes first. I have come from heaven to show you the way of goodness and holiness. Be meek and humble of heart. You are yet to see horrors on earth, but those who remain faithful to the end will be victorious. Onward without fear. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. A very important message from Saint Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria, on the 17th of March, 2023. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. The children of God walk with the impenetrable shield of faith, assured that it is formed by love and divine mercy. A great number of human beings continue not to neglect our King and Lord Jesus Christ, and this is the great failure of this generation. On the threshold of the warnings, human beings still celebrate with the devil. What can await them, other than repentance and conversion, in order to save their souls? The warning is not far away. You ramble about dates, yet it is not far away. Among other plans of the devil, is to destabilize the faithful of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, so they would turn away from Christ himself. So many children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ now occupy prime positions within activities that alludes to the devil, not knowing they will become his slaves, and will be severely treated as slaves of the Antichrist. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you live through agonizing moments, and what will happen after the agony? Beforehand, the bear will rise from its den, and lead humanity to suffer, making great noises in Europe and America. The bear, which seemed to be prudent, will bring out its arsenal, and cause a surprise. The situation for humanity seems to remain calm, but this is so because you do not look at what is now happening to your brothers and sisters living in other latitude. My angels are moving around the earth, 
in order to dampen down the minds that are inflamed with the desire to repeat the story of Nero, with weapons of great power. This generation will see a comet passing close to Earth, so close that it will force it to move. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for France, for it will burn due to its own people, and those from other nations who have come to cause confrontations. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. The economy is faltering, and humanity will suffer from very high prices. America will suffer greatly. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray concerning the new disease with high fever, which will severely affect the respiratory tract, causing the human skin to be dark and flaky. I call you to use the oil of Saint Michael the Archangel on the skin, the medicinal plant fumitory, and the oil of the Good Samaritan. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, so as to make reparation, to cry out for mercy, and be humble and true children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. I call you, not to wait until the last moment to convert. Repentance is necessary. You must elevate your spiritual state, so the state of your soul would be more akin to the Creator. As the Father's children, you are defended by divine love itself. My legions will not turn away from you. We will always be there to defend you. I call you to place on the ankles of children, a blue ribbon with an ichthus, sign of Christians. Look for a medal, and put it with the ribbon. The age for children to wear this medal is from one year, up to ten years old. Although, faith is infinite. And if some older children wish to wear the ichthus, they can. This will keep them protected against evil spirits. You are blessed. Go ahead without fear. Faith is indispensable. I bless you. Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. This is the end of the message. Brothers and sisters, before we depart, please do this three brief tasks. First, go to the comment session and thank Our Lady, and Saint Michael, for these messages given to us. Second, please give this video a like. The more likes we get, the more this message is likely to reach a more wider audience. And lastly, let us ensure to share this message, with at least, one person. Brothers and sisters, in addition to our commentary, in the message of today, we see once again, that we are been warned to prepare not just ourselves but our children. The ribbon which was mentioned by Saint Michael, that should be placed on children, between the ages of 2, to 10. The ribbon should have on it, the sign called Ichthus. Brothers and sisters, the diagram you see on the screen is the diagram which is called Ichthus. You can have it embedded on the piece of ribbon. And while we put this on our children, we should also teach them what it represents, and for what purpose, they were asked to put them on. To know more about the sign, Ichthus, just search on Google, and you will see more information on that. In addition to this, we have been given a similar message on this matter before, through late visionary Enoch of Columbia. You can request for the link to this video on the comment, if you are interested in watching it, and I will respond to you. And also, concerning the warning which was mentioned. There is a compiled video we have made few months ago. In this video, every information you need to know about the warning is in there. You can also request link to this video on the comment session. Or you check the first pinned comment, you will see the link to the video there. Lastly, Saint Michael made mention about the new virus, and indicated we can use the Saint Michael oil, or the Good Samaritan oil to avert contacting this illness. In the past, we have talked about the Saint Michael oil, and the Good Samaritan oil. There is a video on how to make this oil, and if you are interested in making your own oil, you can request for the video link on the comment session. 
or you can check the first pinned comment, you will find all the links there. We do believe that this channel has blessed you all with this information, do not forget to recommend our videos to others. It is for their salvation. Amen. May the Lord bless us all. Until the next video.